Megan. And I'm Sierra. And we're from the Cheernastics too. <laughs> Today we're going to be showing you what we have in our gym bags. So we did this video quite a while ago, but we will be redoing it because we have added to our little collection of things. And, oops, we mixed our bags up. Yours is actually really heavy. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff in it. We used to have nothing. So just so you know, we didn't pre-go through this, so we might have, like, random clothing in here. Because, like, yeah. So, first of all, we've got these cute little, little gymnast things on them. They're little metal purple things. And we got them at... It was for me, but we got Yeah. Them. This is what our gym bag looks like. It's kind of one of those little... What are they like? Drawstring bags. Yeah, they, they're like that. And then there's also, like, a pocket in front, which... I mostly use the pocket because it's just ten times easier than using the actual bag. Okay, so first what I have in here, piece of paper that was to put our routine stuff on. So we, yeah, I don't want to do that anymore. We both have these and they're little first aid kits. We are um, going to go completely through them because we did in our last video. Basically it's got a whole bunch of first aid kit stuff. It's got band-aids, gauze, anesthetic wipes, ointment, pretty much stuff. everything that you find in like a little medicine cabinet. Yeah. Next, I That's also the only thing I have in my big part. Everything else is in my pocket. I also have my work shirt, which I won't show like here. I have my little work shirt because we both coach classes before a practice, so I have to change from this into my leotard and stuff, which I also have in my bag right now. I don't usually have them in my bag, but it's a long story. But those yeah, are so my we'll bag. Open up to my pocket part. Okay, first thing I'll pull out. I have socks because when I coach, I usually like forget socks every time, and since it's winter, my feet are freezing. So if I want to put them on, I can put them on while I'm coaching. Next, I have this little mini contacts thing with like solution and that in case I need to change out my contacts during practice or when I'm coaching. Then I just have this. You're proud of me. These are multi purpose bags. They really are. The next thing that I have is this um, plastic bag and it has all my hair stuff, which honestly is not a lot because I should probably add more. But it has like a mini hairspray, some hair ties, barrettes, bobby pins, a little elastics for like when we do hair at, at meets, and it's all in one place. Next, we have some pre wrap, you know, to use in case you have any rips, which we are actually literally running low. There's probably one more layer of this thing, so we probably need to get some more of that. Okay, next thing I have is this little mini brush for if I need to put my hair up mostly or at a meet or something. Next I have some Icy Hot and this one you take the cap off and it's like a little roller thing so you roll it on and then put the Icy Hot on. I also have a bunch of random hair stuff which I'm going to put in this bag. So next I have this little Advil container and this is just in case you have I have it too. Yeah. And obviously if you're going to have one you need to have like parents permission if you are like younger than 18 or whatever. And we only use this, I've only used this once for like the whole time that we've had it. And that was when my heel was like really hurting. So I only use this for mostly emergencies and you know, when I take it as prescribed, blah, blah, whatever. The next thing I have it is my um, ankle brace, which I actually haven't had to use in a really long time. So that's good. And yeah, but it helps your heel, I mean not your heel. Your foot it hurts. Next, I have this wrist brace, and basically, it's just like a little. Sleeve. They were a dollar. They don't work super well. Yeah. But it helps put a little more pressure, which, in my opinion, stops a little bit of the pain. I just kind of. It works better if you put it on, and then to add more pressure, you like fold it. But they were a dollar, so don't really do that much. Next, I have an empty bag because all of my hair stuff that would be in here are scattered amongst my bag. So, I mean, she's, you know, it happens. I'm almost done. Next, I have Neosporin, which I don't really know why because I had to do the other thing. It's not Neosporin, though. It's the basic brand. But these are also mostly for rips, you know, you put... Yeah, okay, this is really how we put... Time. We care for our rips, but I don't like 
a lot of people on how to care for our ribs video were like, that's not how you do it. But well, like, that's what we do, it works fine. You take this, put it on there, and put then like, pre wrap around. Or like, it. gauze, like if you have like, a small thing of like, gauze, like put Oh yeah, no, you put the gauze pad on it, and then you wrap the pre wrap, and then you put the athletic tape around it. And then, you go back to practice. And then, um, also if you have a rip, what we were told to do like for our coaches is you put like a tea bag on it and it kind of stings a little bit, but there's something in the tea bag and I can't remember the name, but I actually looked it up. There's something in it that makes it like hard and faster and it like might just color your hand because that's what tea does, yeah, but it's, it's not If permanent. you use like, use just like the normal black tea, don't go for any mint chai tea thing, just plain tea and then it'll like help harden your rip faster and help it heal faster. Next, I have my old braces that I use. I have two of these. And if you don't know, I have a heel problem. I have plantar fasciitis, or I don't even know. But my heel hurts a lot when I put a lot of pressure on it. So I used to use these braces. I'll show you the new one that I just got recently, which has seemed to be working pretty well. Basically, this one's also really hard to put on. You have this little gel heel cup, and then you have to somehow hold it while you slip the brace over it. And it just didn't really work very well. So, it was more of a struggle, and like when she actually tumbled, it would move around. Yeah, like this would slip, and then it would be on my arch, and then I'd be like, that feels weird. So, moving on to... The next thing I have are inhalers, and I have two, because what if one runs out? You gotta have more. And uh, we both have asthma. Megan has just normal asthma. I have sports-induced asthma. Well, like so, mine's like sports-induced and a lot of allergies. So I could be sitting and just be like, hold on, let me just use my inhaler. But yeah, I don't really have to use it ever. I Like the last time I probably used it was just because, yeah. All right, so the next thing that I have are not actually in my bag, but like I just pretty much have to wear them. Well, um, the last thing I have, I'm not really sure why, but I have money. You know. I don't know why. We might have gotten Jimmy Jones before practice one time. I think it was actually because um, we ha used to have cheer and then we went straight to gymnastics. So I think I brought money because our, like, our practice was at our school and there was a vending machine. So I think I brought money to get food and then I just put the money in my bag. The next thing I have is another brace. It's this long thing that you use to wrap around your knee. I really never have to use this, but yesterday, when I was doing an aerial for the, for the alphabet gymnastics video, well, it wasn't yesterday when we uploaded this, but it was when we did the alphabet gymnastics video. I was trying to do my aerial, and then I wanted to redo it. Yeah, I wanted to redo it because I didn't like that. I fell on my belt as. And then I was doing an aerial, and then my knee hurt for no reason. So this has been what I have had to wear for a little bit to make it stop hurting. And the next thing I have, which I kind of want to go a little more into detail with, if you have any heel pain, or plantar fasciitis, or Achilles tendonitis, then I just got this brace. I just got this brace from BetterBraces.com, and it has, for me, been working really well because the reason that you get heel pain is because either for plantar fasciitis, it's like your arches or whatever, and I guess for Achilles tendonitis, it's you know with your tendons. So I think that the reason that the heel cup wasn't helping was because it just supported my heel and it didn't help prevent the pain. So this thing, it has this air pocket right here, the blue part, the blue part. So for this brace, it has a blue little air pocket thing on the, where like the Achilles tendon is. And then on the bottom, it's like got this air patch as well which I feel like it's more helpful to me because I don't have Achilles tendonitis. And it really relieves the pressure from your heel. Because at first I was like, well, how's it going to help my heel if there's an opening on the heel? But it actually has really helped. And it's Especially easy to put on. because this air pocket right here takes a lot of the pressure off your heel. You're mostly standing on the air pocket rather than your heel. And it's really easy to put on. You just slip it on and put it on. And I actually wear this most of the time, like I wear it at home, even when I'm not doing anything, I wear it, you know, pretty much everywhere. Because now it's like gotten to the point where for my heel, if I want to make it stop hurting, I really need to help focus on keeping it painless for most of the time. So I usually have to keep this on for the whole day and then I take it off when I go to bed. 
So if you want a brace like this, if you have heel pain, this to me has seemed to be working really well, then you should go to betterbraces.com, which will be linked down below, and this is not a sponsored video, by yes, the way. Yes, here just wants to help all you people out. I had so much trouble trying to figure out how to make it stop hurting, so this seems to be a pretty good answer. Also, just do basic stuff, like for Sierra, she has to do some stretches, you take like a water bottle and then you freeze it and then like you roll it and the rolling motion helps plus it's frozen so that helps relieve the pain too. Just, we're not going to make this whole video about Achilles, <laughs> not Achilles and knives. We're not going to make this whole video about heel pain but I mean maybe if you want a future video about how to deal with pain, like we'll go more into depth about certain pains. So if you want that video you can comment down, comment that, comment that down below and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!